Hi, this is Diego from Not Just For Engineers. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a 3D visualization of a footbridge. We'll review all the software that we need to achieve quite easily an attractive final render like this one. First of all, it's very important to have a clear idea of what you want to create. We might modify this a little bit in our software now, but we need something to start from, something like a preliminary sketch with some measures. So the idea now is to transform this sketch into a 3D model to see what it looks like. But why Reno and Grasshopper instead of 3ds Max or any other software? First, because Grasshopper and the parametric design. It can simplify tremendously the task of modeling the bridge. For example, in my case, I want to design a trash bridge. In any other program, I would possibly need to build any single bar individually. However, in Grasshopper, I can model the trash all together. And second, because it's quick and easy to modify our bridge and play with it until we find a result that we really like. So once we are satisfied with our model, we can move on to the next step. The most common way of modeling the terrain consists of drawing a plane, like uh, what I'm doing right now, and then using the freeform tools to shape it as we want. We can modify the contour, draw some hills or whatever. And for the trees, the best option I think that is the I do forest pack for sure. We can create our own forest and customize it with a lot of different options, starting from the library. Uh, here we have a lot of 3D trees to choose, or plants, or even presets. We can create different forests as well to the same terrain. And play with it as we want. The distribution options are really interesting and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is what it looks like when we put together the bridge and the forest. For the texturing, I really like to use this tool, Bitray Material Presets Pro. It's basically a huge list of materials to choose from. We can even download more from the internet. I really like it because I, this way I don't have to spend time creating my own materials. So. Are my materials, including the HDRI. And once we have applied the materials to our model, we are ready to render it. This is going to be short. We just have to add some lights and cameras have to make some adjustments in the render setup. Uh, we can add some render elements if we like uh, also for, for the post-processing and basically that's all. For the post-processing in Photoshop, the render elements are really an interesting resource. However, since I am quite satisfied with the result of the render, I will only adjust very slightly the color of the leaves to simulate falling somehow. To sum up, first we model the bridge in Grasshopper and Reno and the forest and the landscape in 3ds Max with the i2 Forest Pack. 
then the texturing with V-Ray material presets and we render the scene with V-Ray. Finally we just applied some post-processing with Photoshop. Thank you for watching and see you in further tutorials.